Shalom family in Saudi Shore. Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is another user light service announcement. There's another user light service announcement. I'll be reading from the book of Jasher, chapter 3, starting at verse 17. Jasher 3, starting at verse 17. Now I read. And it was in the year of Adam's death, which was the 243rd year of the reign of Enoch. In that time, Enoch resolved to separate himself from the sons of men and to secret himself, to secret himself as at first in order to serve Yahweh. And Enoch did so, but did not entirely secret himself from them, but kept away from the sons of men three days and then went to them for one day. And during the three days that he was in his chamber, he prayed to and praised Yahweh his El. And the day on which he went and appeared to the subjects, he taught them the ways of Yahweh. And all that all they asked him about Yahweh, he told them. I read that to say this. We must not neglect our personal communion and prayer and praise unto Yahweh. It is necessary for us as servants of our Yahweh to devote time to praying to, praising, and worshiping Abba Yahweh. For through that personal relationship of Abba Yahweh, we gain strength. We gain the, the hardening of our foundation in Yahweh that we may endure the various trials and adversities and the persecutions set before us. For in order for us to run this race to life eternal with patience, we must maintain our personal relationship with Abba Yahweh. For the cause, we must take time to worship him and serve him um, in prayer and supplication intercession that we may gain that strength may gain that renewing of the spirit that we may walk in spirit and truth so let us not neglect our personal relationship with our Yahweh for our Yahweh who is our source of life. We must maintain our personal relationship of Abba Yahweh. So my blood brethren, those who are children of the renewed man, those who have been born of Yahweh according to Acts 2 38, those who had repented of their sins and those who were baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for both the pardon of sins and the regeneration of the soul, and had received the baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking another tongue, Yahweh permits one to speak when to speak, we must not neglect our personal relationship with Abba Yahweh. If you are mindful of Yahweh, we will not neglect our personal relationship with Yahweh. The more and more I will see the signs of the second coming we will draw more and more in prayer and supplication and intercession unto Yahweh. We will cleave more and more unto Yahweh, knowing that our Yahweh's strength, His power, His soundness, enables us to faithfully guard His word. But only through the power and the mercy and the favor of Yahweh can we faithfully guard the word of Yahweh. So let us not, let us not neglect that personal relationship with Yahweh. Let us not neglect the personal relationship with Yahweh. But only through maintaining our personal relationship with Yahweh can we truly appreciate one another. As fellow heirs of salvation. 
So let's neglect let's not neglect our personal relationship with Yahweh. I pray Yahweh continue to grant us his elect strength, wisdom, and favor to perform his will in all things. In the name of his beloved Son, Yeshua, I'm she is said our name, so be it, so be it, Shalom.